This is Mel. She's creating the face cast. This is me. I'm participating in this face casting thing. What Mel's going to be doing is she's basically going to be casting my entire face uh, from the base of my neck all the way up to the top of my forehead to the edge of my ears. The first step in the procedure, what she's doing there, she's explaining to me, is she's applying Vaseline around the hair items along with the hair thing to hold my hair back. Now she, pl she applies a liberal amount of Vaseline basically to my eyebrows and around the nose area. And And as you can see, she moves pretty quickly to get that all done. Now the Vaseline stage is done. She's ready to apply the plaster, uh, the plaster bandages around my forehead. I'm taking one last drink before my mouth and everything is covered because I won't be able to drink or eat or do anything. As you can see, I'm a little bit nervous because having your whole face covered is just kind of a scary task. And what she does is she takes the plaster bandages and if you see there to her left right now, there's a bowl of water. She's great now. She's cutting them into the proper sizes that she can fit around my face. And uh, what she's going to do is she's going to dip them in the bowl of water and basically just apply them directly to my skin to get the shape of my face. And here it goes. She's going to apply that the face casting in three layers. Now this is the first layer that she's applying. Basically this is the most important layer because it basically defines the shape of the face cast that she wants to do. And she's using the kind of the top-down approach basically starting with my forehead and then working way down to the edge of the face to my base of my neck. And the one thing at this point is that uh, even though she just applied a lot of the stuff and it's maybe 10, 5 or 10 minutes old, I can actually start to feel the weight of the plaster and it's, it's actually starting to harden at this point. As you can see, she covered my mouth and then is moving towards the neck area. And what she does basically with the plaster bandage, she just places them all the way around the neck and the nose. And then what she's done is she's shaped around my nose, leaving two holes. Now this is the second layer that she's playing. And again, what she does is she's just following the first layer. She's working the, again straight down from the top down to the edge of my face. And as you can see that, that I, at this point, cannot move my chin up or down, nor can I uh, basically turn my neck or anything. I have to turn my whole body to be able to do that. Because the plaster bandages, again, at this point, have uh, become very hard. She's applying the second layer. And again, her reason for applying the second layer is so that when she rips it off that it doesn't just break or snap. Okay, this is now we're ready for the third layer. So she'll apply the third and final layer before she, again she lets it to harden. The one thing I have to note too is that at this point what I did not realize is that 
while she's applying this last layer that every once in a while I would panic inside. Again, not because I couldn't breathe because I could always breathe through my nose, but because you're used to breathing through your mouth, you have to basically overcome that and breathe through your nose only. And that's, a, I guess, a, a little bit thing, a little bit thing that, that kind of panicked me for a bit. So there we go, we have the entire face casting. And while the top surface again is still wet at this point, uh, again, you can definitely feel the weight of that around on your face and everything. And the fact again, that I can't move my head, my neck or anything. And the one thing I, I must be amazed, I did not expect this, is that you, you kind of look like uh, Mike Myers from Halloween. This would have been a good look for Halloween if I, if I decided to take this. <laughs> but basically she'll get the whole shape of my face and everything. And uh, again, I'm going to show you the bust shortly that she created uh, from my face by pouring plaster into the mold after. But this is me after being face cast. Now this is the finished bust. Well, I, I guess I shouldn't say it's finished. What it happens is, yes, you can see there's imperfections, there's cracks and everything. Um, she'll be filling those uh, in. What I'll do is I will post uh, a pictures of the actual bust when it's finished. Again, because of the size of the bust and because it's very heavy and a lot of plaster, it'll probably take about a month for it to dry. So even though she's going to be filling in the imperfections, she can't touch this for about a month and again once I get the pictures for that uh, I will definitely post pictures of the bust itself in its entirety completed. With my wife uh, even though portions of this video were sped up the entire time that it took her to complete the bust was almost pretty close to an exactly an hour and I'm not sure if she planned that or did that or, or how, how that worked out for that anyways. Again, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Um, if you like the video, please thumbs up. If you don't like the video, please thumbs down. And again, uh, all credit goes to my wife, Mel, who is the most creative person that I know. Thank you.